In this video, let's talk about a new subtopic in the chapter of determinants known as minors. Now we already know what is determinant and we have seen few numerical problems on the same. In this video, we are going to deal with a new subtopic called as minors. Let's see what is a minor and how to compute the same. The heading says minor and after doing some numerical illustration, we are going to read this. So first of all, I will be telling you what is a minor just verbally and then we will solve something and then read what is written over here. Now we know what is a matrix and we know determinants too. In any matrix, when you have to compute minor, the criteria is such the same that you follow in the case of cofactors too, which will be our next topic. That means what? Suppose you have a matrix given to you as A and it is a 2 by 2 matrix. The elements are A11, A12, A21, A22, right? Now this is a 2 by 2 matrix. You know this. If you have to compute minor of this matrix, what is the criteria? First of all, you have to deal with its determinant. So what is its determinant? It is A11, A12, A21, A22. And what to follow? You have to follow one simple thing that if you have to calculate minor of the first element, you have to first of all write it as capital M. This is the denotion for a minor. Minor of A11 will be what? It will be M11. Minor of A12 will be what? It will be M12. Minor of A21 will be what? It will be M21. And minor of A22 will be what? It will be M22. First of all, this thing we should know. Now, what is the value of a minor and how to compute it? Let's see that. I write equal to for all these four minors and let's go about computing it. We have M11. M11 is related to A11. What is the criteria? Very simple. Whatever element you want to compute minor of, consider that element such that you leave the corresponding row and the corresponding column. So if it is M11, that means you have to compute for A11. You leave this row, you leave this column. What is left? A22. This is the minor of M11 as simple as that. Now let's move to the other thing that is M12. M12 is related to A12. What is the criteria? Leave this column and this row. Why? Because A12 is present here at the junction of the first row and the second column. What is left? A21. Write the answer as A21. Similarly, move towards M21. I make a separate line for this. M21 is what? It is related to A21. Now A21, you leave the corresponding row, you leave the corresponding column, you have A12. That is what is to be done. Write A12. And similarly, in the order, you find A22's minor, A22's minor is M22. Leave this row, leave this column, you have A11. This is how you compute minor for a 2 by 2 matrix and its corresponding determinant. Now let's read the definition when we have understood this thing. The definition says that A is equal to Aij be a matrix given to us which is given to us and that has to be a square matrix only. So a 2 by 2 matrix or a 3 by 3 matrix of order n say 2 here. In this example we have taken order 2 minor Mij capital M that is why we were using capital M of Aij in A is what? It is the determinant of the square submatrix. Some of you might still get confused as to we didn't take any determinant, we just took one element. This thing will be clear when we take bigger order matrix, higher order matrix. In the next session, we'll be taking 3 by 3 matrix also in the same video, right? So submatrix of order n minus 1. See, n here was 2 in this question. So what is n minus 1? It is 2 minus 1 which is 1 only. That is why we have only one element. While when we move to 3 by 3 or 3 order matrix, third order matrix, 
n minus 1 is 3 minus 1 which is 2. So, we will have 2 by 2 sub matrix and the answer will be computed accordingly that I will show you here. Obtained by leaving the ith row, you left the row, you remember, you left the corresponding row and you left the corresponding column. So, that is written ith row and jth column. Now, let us move to the higher order matrix. 2 by 2 is taken. Now, we are going to take a matrix A again. Maybe the name is same. We take it as it is. And it is a 3 by 3 matrix. A11, A12, A13, A21, A22, A23. A31, A32, A33. For this matrix, all the 9 elements, we have to compute the minors. So, let us start with M11, M12 and M13. M11 would be what? It would be minor when you compute for A11. And how will you compute it? You will leave the corresponding row and you will leave the corresponding column. So, if it is M11, leave the first row, leave the first column, what is left? We are left with this portion and that is why I said you that it should be order N-1. When it is ordered 3 by 3 in this case, you leave one row, one column, you are left with a 2 by 2 determinant. So, it is something like this that you obtain A22, A23 and A32, A33. Hence, we obtain a sub-determinant and the definition was written here that here we obtain a determinant, right. Now, you have to compute this determinant value. As we know, in a 2 by 2 determinant case, what you need to do is just cross multiply and write the value as A22, A33 minus A32, A23 minus A32, A23. Similarly, what you can do is, you can solve it for M12, M13. Now, let us quickly do it. M12 would be what? Leave this column, leave this row. It is A21, A23, A31, A33. Let us write it here. A21, A23, A31, A33. Again, you can yourself by your own compute the result as cross multiplication. We are moving forward to M13 considering that you can yes cross multiply the result would be A21, A33 minus A31, A23. Moving for M13, M13 is what related to A13. Leave this row, leave that column, you are left with a sub matrix. Let us write the sub matrix quickly. It is A21, A22 because we are leaving it for A13. So third column cannot be included first row cannot be included, right? A31, A32, A31, A32. I solve this one for you at least. Cross multiply, it is A21, A32 minus A31, A22. So, it is A31, A22. So, in this manner, as we have solved for these three minors, if somebody asks you the value of minor, say M32, so, again the same technique you need to follow. M32's minor would be what? You have to take into consideration this. Leave the third row, leave the second column, solve the sub-determinant that is left. I take one example of this kind, M32, I am writing the answer as leaving this row, leaving this column. You are left with what? A11, A13, A21, A23. In a sub-determinant, the answer is what? Cross multiply. A11, A23 minus A21, A13. So, in this video, we saw how to compute minors for 2 by 2 ordered determinant and sub matrix and 3 by 3 ones.